Did you know the world loses about dollar 90 billion annually to electricity theft? Of which India solely contributes up to 17 billion. Narin Pindoria, a professor in electrical engineering at IIT Gandhinagar, along with his team, has developed a novel, accurate and robust electricity theft and anomaly detection approach. We wanted to apply the data-driven approach for energy management and detect the energy theft and anomalies in a residential customer uh, setting point. And we wanted to demonstrate this. activities through india uk collaborative research project uh, which is between iit gandhinagar and university of edinburgh this computational method will ensure efficient metering of electricity which will be beneficial for provider as well as consumer uh, by applying this data driven approach and algorithms machine learning approach we try to improve the energy efficiency delivery from the service provider so at least the reliability aspect of energy uh, to the end user will improve at the same time when the metering is online data equation is in a real time the business model for the service provider would improve because then they will get a more revenue or better revenue with respect to the commercial losses because if the metering aspect is not proper if there is a energy theft or if there is a metering malfunction that datas are not being logged in a meter so that the the service provider may not get a revenue out of that because because those datas are unlogged datas so by metering proper metering or efficient metering and while utilizing the data aspect we can able to improve the revenue model for the service provider as well so basically energy theft is categorized through three attacks one is a physical attack which is a physical intervention at the meter level second is the cyber attack which is the intervention at the communication layer and the third is you change the data which is being locally stored in a meter the end objective is to detect the difference between non malicious anomaly and electricity theft without any physical intervention at the customer level it is a multi step process so you are grouping the number of customers having the same behavior then we have to apply some intelligent rule there so that say looking at the cluster profile i have to make the rule based system rule based system that means if the cluster if the cluster profile is something like this then i say okay this customer is a agriculture customer but whereas another customer has a opposite profile which means the customer is at home which means that customer is non agriculture or commercial building or maybe the small grocery shop or like this In case of deviations from the expected profiles this method has the intelligence to decide whether there is a theft or not Professor Pindoria's lab is working on improving the efficiency of this decision making algorithm By combining clustering and forecasting traits this study is the first of its kind and can be applied to any geographical location In the future the economical impact of this approach will be studied